Welcome to this X8R video demonstrating our repair kit for valve blocked on the Mercedes-Benz ABC suspension. Before commencing with the repair, be sure to clean the outside of the valve block valves to ensure no contaminants enter the inside of the valves. Try to keep the internals as clean as possible. First things first, you need to remove the clips from both pairs of valves. This can be done using a flathead screwdriver. Lever the clips away from their lugs on the valves, then twist the valve away from the clip. The clip can then be removed from its position. Once both clips are removed, you should see something like this. The valves can now be removed. To remove the valves, these need to be rotated slightly. The control valves need to be rotated 90 degrees and the locking valves 45 degrees. You can then pull the valves out of the valve block. To aid with removal of the valves, a flathead screwdriver can be gently inserted at the bottom and, applying some pressure, can lever the valves upwards. The ring at the base of the large control valve is the weather shield. Do not worry about damaging this as we provide replacements. Once all the valves are removed from the valve blocks, you can start to clean them up and the valve block itself. This can be done using tissue and a toothbrush to help remove any dirt and debris. On the locking valve, you can remove the plunger to make sure it is okay and not damaged. Pull the spring and test to make sure it is still nice and stiff. You can then refit the plunger back into the locking valve using a little hydraulic fluid as lubrication. You can now start removing the O-rings. This can be done using a small flathead screwdriver just to raise the O-ring enough to move it from its position. This process can be repeated for all four valves. Be careful with the screwdriver not to damage the solenoid where the O-rings sit. Here you can see all the valves with the O-rings removed. On some valves, the spacer rings will be white PTFE rings. If this is the case and they are in good condition, these don't need to be replaced. On some other units, there are rubber spacer rings used. These tend to deteriorate and cause issues. In this case, we recommend replacing these with our white PTFE spacer rings. They are fairly soft and will cut quite easily. Now that all the O-rings and backup rings are removed, you can inspect your solenoids for any damage. Check out our picture instructions for an illustration showing the location of all the O-rings and the spacer rings. These are all labelled up in the kit for easy install. Lay out all the new backup rings and O-rings in front of each valve in order of how they go on. Then start to reinstall in the correct order. Hydraulic fluid can be used to lubricate the rings to make them slide on more easily. Again, a flathead screwdriver can help to make sure the O-rings sit in position correctly. Be careful not to damage the solenoid. Once 
once these are all in place, refit the spring for the plunger. There is a large O-ring on the base of the locking valve. Using the same process, remove it and refit with our new supplied O-ring. Now it's time to start on the control valves. It's the same process. Lay out all the O-rings and backup rings in front of each valve and then install in the correct order using hydraulic fluid as lubrication. This is what the control valve should look like now all the new parts are installed. Unlike other kits on the market, we also provide new retaining clips to hold the valves in place. We also provide a better weather shield for the base of the control valves. The weather shield just fits over the control valve, like so. You can now reinstall your valves. Reinsert them into the holes using hydraulic fluid as lubrication. They will need to be firmly installed and then twisted into position. Here is an image of the control valves in their correct positions after installation. You can now reinstall the locking valves. Be careful with the spring as this can fall off. Use hydraulic fluid as lubrication and you will need to push down firmly again to make sure they click in and twist. Once all four valves are reinstalled and the valve block, you should see something like this. Make sure the control valves are sitting nicely in their weather shields and have a good seal. You can now install the new retaining clips onto the valve block valves. Just line up the clips with the lugs on the valves and push down. If installed correctly, the valves will not twist round. Once the clips are installed, that completes the installation. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments or would like any advice, you can email us at sales at x8r.co.uk. Alternatively, you can call us on 01843 446643. Thank you.